Hi everyone, thanks for clicking and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about IC deviation and how to calculate it. Before we get started though, please feel free to leave your request down below if you would like me to make a video about any aviation related topic that you may be struggling with. I'll be more than happy to help out. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. IC deviation. Well, let's start with a brain jiggle one. ISA stands for International Standard Atmosphere. It was created in order to standardize aircraft instruments and thus provide a common reference for both pressure, temperature, and density. However, if the actual outside air temperature differs from ISA for a particular altitude or flight level that you are at, then this will affect your aircraft performance significantly. So in order to determine how the aircraft will perform, we need to work out what is the deviation. Higher than ISA temperature, in a particular, will negatively affect the aircraft performance in various phases of flight, such as takeoff, cruise, climb, uh, landing distance, and so on. So be sure to check your aircraft performance graphs and manual, especially if the temperature is high, the altitude is high, or you're carrying a heavy load because these are the combination of a bad performance. Keep that in mind. High temperature, high elevation uh, airfield, and heavy aircraft. Of course, we can add to that uh, humidity. If you have all these factors, you have to uh, be more careful. So like we said, ISA temperature, deviation is the difference between the actual temperature and the ISA temperature for a certain altitude. So for every 11 degrees, the colder temperature varies from standard. There is a 4% lower error in the altitude compared to that indicator in the altimeter. So according to ISA atmosphere, here are some values you need to know as a pilot. Temperature, according to ISA at sea level is 15 degrees, and it decreases by roughly two degrees for every 1000 feet. 1.98 really but we can safely use two degrees for uh, ease of calculation. So it decreases by two degrees every 1,000 feet until the topopause is reached at about 36,000 feet, above which the temperature is assumed to be constant at uh, negative 56.5, okay? Now let's look at the pressure according to ISA. At sea level, standard pressure is 1013.25 hectopascals or millibars, or 29098, sorry, 29092 inches of mercury at sea level. And then it decreases by one hectopascal for every 27 feet, or one inches of mercury for every 1,000 feet in the lower atmosphere, up to about uh, 5,000 feet. Then it continues to decrease exponentially. And as for the density, just a rough figure you can uh, keep in mind mostly for uh, ground school and exams you won't be needing it uh, that much in real life but it's a good figure to keep in mind so the standard uh, density at sea level is 1.225 kilogram per cubic meter okay so these are the standard figures for temperature pressure and density at sea level according to isa also, please uh, keep in mind that these values are standard figures agreed upon by ICAO state members. So the real atmosphere differs from ISA in many ways. Sea level pressure varies from day to, uh, day, to day. Uh, there are wide extremes of temperature at all levels, from temperature inversion to higher or lower than standard lapse rate, and so on. Okay, now let's do uh, some math. And see how to calculate IC deviation. We have the first example here, outside air temperature of plus 33 and at sea level. So there's no elevation. So here is the formula. IC deviation equals outside air temperature minus ISA. So IC deviation equals 33, which happens to be the outside air temperature or the actual air temperature minus 15. How do we get this 15? This 15, like we said, it is the ISA temperature at sea level. So the given is sea level. That means ISA temperature at that level is 15. So 33 minus 15 
we are we get 17 degrees plus this means that the actual temperature is hotter than the standard temperature by 17 degrees so icy deviation is plus 17. let's look at another example say for example we have an outside air temperature of 10 degrees at an elevation of 2,000 feet. Say, for example, we have an uh, we are at an, alt at an airport or an airfield at with an elevation of 2,000 feet. So let's calculate our ISA deviation. Like we did before, ISA deviation equals the outside air temperature of 10 minus. Now, here's the catch. We said that the temperature decreases two degrees per one thousand per one thousand feet the elevation here is two thousand feet so at two thousand feet according to isa the temperature must have decreased by four degrees okay so how to get that isa will equal 15 degrees because it is we are at sea level is 15 degrees and then minus 2 times 2 the first two is for the elevation of 2000 feet and the second two is the lapse rate or the ISA standard lapse rate so we get with outside air temperature 10 degrees minus 11 degrees and ISA deviation equals negative 1 so temperature is one degree colder than standard okay let's look one more example together this is going to be a tricky one we're going to do it in reverse so outside a temperature of plus 33 degrees ice deviation is plus four degrees and we are asked to find the altitude okay here is the formula we plug in the givens IC deviation 4 outside the temperature 33 minus ISA okay now let's break in this ISA a bit more we have 15 which is sea level temperature minus 2 which is the standard lapse rate times X which is the altitude that we don't know yet okay so we just uh, rearrange the formula and we get 52 equals 2x or x equals 26 and since the altitude is in thousands we multiply 26 in 1000 and we get 26,000 feet which is the altitude let's do this example in a bit more different and simpler way okay as you guys can see we have ISA conditions on the left and the actual conditions on the right. So let's tackle the ISA first. According to ISA, sea level temperature is 15 degrees and the outside air temperature given in our example is negative 33. So to be able to find at which altitude that negative 33 happens to be, we do 15 degrees minus minus 33, which is 15 plus 33 happens to be 48 okay now 48 and we have a lapse rate of 2 degrees per 1000 feet so we divide 48 by 2 and we get 24 since the altitude in thousands we multiply that by a thousand and we get left with 24,000 feet so negative 33 degrees Celsius happens at 24,000 feet according to ISA in ISA temperature in standard temperature however in the given we have an ISA deviation of plus 4 so instead of using 15 degrees at sea level we, we, we will use 15 plus 4 which is 4 degrees hotter than 15 which happens to be 19 degrees so 19 same plus 33 52 2 degrees per 1000 feet so we uh, divide 52 by 2 and we get 26 
since altitude in thousands, we multiply that by a thousand and we get 26,000 feet, which is the altitude in this case. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. If this video has been helpful for you, please consider a like and to subscribe to my channel as well to help spread the knowledge. Thank you very much and see you soon.